After so much destruction, so much noise, for those waiting beside the remnants of their homes in Turkey and Syria's earthquake zone, it is now the silence that is deafening. Eight days on, the sounds of life under the collapsed buildings are all but extinguished. 40,000 lives have been lost and they will very sadly not be the last. Families are still waiting but no longer hoping in that silence and cold and often in darkness. They await the bodies of those they hold dear to be dug out from where they were buried by the earthquake so they can be given a fitting final farewell as religious tradition dictates. In Antakya in Turkey, the New Testament city of Antioch, there are few gospels of good news now. In Antakya, they are scared of the dark. All that pierces the pitch black are fires to fend off the cold and the searchlights, the flashing lights and the headlights that tell you the emergency teams are working round the clock. The end of the world here happened just after 4 a.m. In this quake zone, the dead of night has literal meaning. At the site of every collapsed building where the dedicated dig, you see the relatives. They patiently do their duty, waiting to receive the bodies of their nearest and dearest. Those who could so easily be buried under the rubble but are not, have loved ones who are. The couple on the right here are waiting to claim the body of his mother. She's my mom, not mother-in-law, she's my mom. How long have you been waiting here? A week. You've been here a week? Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's it been like? Horrible. Worst experience of my life. I will never forget that. Never. I'm a doctor. I've seen bad things. I've seen terrible things. But this is the worst. And how long will you stay here? When I get my mom, we will bury her and we'll leave. Antakya's history stretches back 2,500 years. When St. Peter and St. Paul lived here, they knew it as Antioch, but few live in the old city today. Most of the homes that line its narrow streets have been rendered uninhabitable. Understandably, most of the rescue effort has been concentrated on the largest buildings. More residents mean more chance of finding survivors. But the consequence is that smaller buildings like this one in Antakya's old city have been ignored. In areas like this, they truly have no idea just how many people are dead and buried. Early in the day, this Mexican rescue team thought they detected a pulse. Looking on, Bayich knows his mother, father and sister are in the rubble. After calling for silence, the team asked for an Arabic speaker. He's told to call out for anyone who can hear to tap once. But there was no response and inevitably hope faded. The leader of the Mexican team tried to console Bech. I can feel your pain, he said. Throughout the wreckage that was Antakya, pain is plentiful. Among the cherished buildings destroyed, the Habibi Nekar Mosque dates from the first century AD. It was rebuilt after the last big earthquake here almost 200 years ago. Can Antakya rise again after this one? Sadly, the scale of the damage must raise serious doubts. The place known in the Bible as Antioch may now be nothing more than ancient history. John Irvine, News at 10, Antakya.